Back in the 1990s, uh, my fellow Vaquita scientist Lorenzo Rojas Bracho and I wrote an article looking at all the different threats that they might be facing. We looked at pollutants and found that actually they have the cleanest blubber of any marine mammal anywhere in the world. Uh, we looked at in inbreeding depression, and even though they have uh, virtually no genetic diversity, I did a whole bunch of uh, computer modeling and found out that they wouldn't have lost that diversity so quickly just from fishing, that they're probably just a very naturally rare population. It actually makes them potentially less vulnerable to inbreeding depression. Then there were lots of rumors that the reason that there were so not very many vaquitas was because of the lack of the flow of the Colorado River. But the logical argument there is that that's causing some issue with their food. And in fact, in the early days when the fishermen used to turn in the dead vaquitas, there were very complete uh, uh, scientific looks at each one of the over 60 dead uh, vaquitas. And they all had very good body condition, lots of fat and blubber. Um, they didn't have anything wrong with them. At the time, we were seeing lots of calves. So we had no reason to believe that these animals wouldn't be doing just fine um, if it weren't for this problem. So there are two fishing villages uh, that are right next to Vaquita habitat, El Golfo de Santa Clara and San Felipe. Bay. And between them, they have about 1,000 of these small boats uh, called pongas. And each one of those boats uh, puts in the water a couple thousand meters of net. That is a lot of net in the water. It is the most intensively fished area that I have seen anywhere in the world. So back in 1993, a woman did her PhD, Caterina Dagrosa, by going and living in El Golfo for a year and interviewing fishermen and going out and with several other people as observers on boats and estimating the number of vaquitas that were killed. And they estimated that at that time, about 78 vaquitas were killed every year. They were killed in all types of nets, big nets, small nets, didn't make any difference. As long as it's a gill net, they would get tangled and die in it, and they died basically in those nets all year round. 